So I am starving, so we'll keep this one a little bit short and brief. Having meatballs tonight, homemade meatballs with some sauce and some broccoli. This is a Brunello. Italian wines, especially Sangiovese, go really, really, really well with red sauces. Brunello being the Sangiovese on crack, uh, highest expression of Sangiovese most likely. So this is a 2013 La Serena. I've had it open for a little bit here. Sangiovese Grasso, so it's a, a better or a more concentrated clone. And these have certain aging requirements that they can't come out, I think, for five years. So the 2013 probably come out to 2018 because there's rules with their aging in barrel and then aging in bottle before they're allowed to be released to the public just to ensure highest level of quality and a little bit of aging before you get into them. It smells like Italy. So I haven't had to say it in a while, but this one absolutely smells like Italy. It's got sage, rosemary, thyme, uh, black cherry, raspberry, a little bit of leather, red cherry for sure too. So I don't know much about the 2013 vintage out of Tuscany. Oh, I didn't use my prop. So out of Tuscany, sort of middle of Italy here, heartland of, of Italian wine, Tuscan, a lot of Chianti, certainly the Brunellos, and um, yeah, those are the majority. The Chianti being the biggest, most well-known, and then Brunello sort of the step up. I think I've spoken about before. Step up from from Chianti, even though Chianti has certain levels, and that Gran Selezione is the new upper level of Chianti that sort of can rival Brunello probably. Then you got Brunello Reserva, which minimum probably a hundred dollars, and goes up to. I did see one for about three hundred. So I think it's the highest priced Brunello I've seen. So La Serena I've had before. This is not a very expensive one. I want to say 45. Yep, Brunellos are in that 40 to 50. Worth mentioning, the 2016 vintage is getting rated, and I forget by who, maybe one inspector, maybe another critic, as the best vintage in the last 30 years at a Tuscany. So when the 2016's come out, I'm gonna buy probably about 10 different $50 to $75. I always like getting that Valdacava. Valdacava's about an $80 one. It's sort of one of my favorites. So there's a pure expression of Sangiovese added there. Not overly overdone. I never believe Brunello's sort of overdone. And this even has a little bit of a brownish rim showing a little bit of age. But these wines could absolutely age and they're absolutely super food friendly for their acidity and their flavor. Ugh, this screams just an herb garden. And it just screams Italian. Just especially now with a little bit of aeration. I think this is only gonna be getting better and better as it aerates. And I have it in a decanter. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really good. La Serena. I, I don't remember liking La Serena in previous vintages as much as I like this one. And this is just hitting a sweet spot right now. Maybe because I'm starving. Maybe because I'm thirsty. Maybe because I really just want a good Brunello. And this is absolutely hitting that mark. Like yesterday, when I had that Burgundy, I finished the whole bottle. Oops. It went amazing, amazing with the salmon. And that wine only got better. There was a little bit of a smokiness that came out as it decanted a little bit more. That was probably the only other flavor profile I got. Again, still pretty big for a 2015 Pinot out of Burgundy. This, super long length, super medium plus acidity. Tannins are about medium, but the tannins are there are just so integrated and so silky that it's... They don't bite at all. But enough of it is there. This wine's going to go amazing with the meatballs. I could absolutely already tell. Uh, this could be a match made in heaven tonight. Really excited. My meatballs came out pretty good. This wine's singing right now. 
Certainly could see a little bit more time, but I, I'm really loving it, loving it right now. This is the way I want Brunello to taste always. You know, a little bit of an aged character. It gives it a little bit of a leather note, a little bit of a tobacco leaf note, but minor. They're not major. They're not in your face. They're just there as tertiary flavors, which happen with age. Tertiary flavors come out with aging of a wine as it matures. It's awesome. Look at my wine reel real quick. Just if there's anything else that's jumping out at me, although I already picked out a number of things. Nothing else is really jumping out. Maybe red currant. You know. Oh, typically these have a sour cherry. This one doesn't as much. Not really at all. Which is good. Well, it's not that it's necessarily good. It just doesn't have that jumping out at it out of it. So yeah, you know, that cigar box tobacco leaf. Uh, maybe along the lines of a sweet tobacco. Maybe this is more like a sweet tobacco. Not sweet, but that's sort of what it, it reminds me of rather than a drying tobacco. A little more. Okay. Time to eat. I wanted to keep it short. Six minutes is probably as short as I'm going to get on this one since this wine is just awesome. This is a this is a five out of five. Uh, it's it's just in a great state. I'm not even sure what the cost is, but for forty fifty. This is just how I like my Brunello to taste. So, it's clicking on all cylinders I do with the food. It's going to just capitalize on it. Totally bring out the food. Complement it perfectly. And 5 out of 5 on Vivino. I'm very liberal with the 5 out of 5s. If it just hits me at the right time, at the right place, on the taste buds the right way, I can smell the meatballs. It's all just going together right now. So, that's it. Time to eat.